Hey guys, it's your boy V back with more Mall Feature Byte content and today we are gonna be talking about the optimal comic card sets for the PvP as well as the PvE aspects of the game because with the introduction of new crafting system, it has just opened up more opportunities for you to optimize your base card stats. And with the introduction of the new system, Players don't, I don't think a lot of players really realize that, but they need to be patient. We need to be patient and we need to, need to be really picky at what card we really, really want to work on. The reason why is that optimal cards in your base stat that we used to use have changed because the stats that we used to try to get, maybe like dodge and critical damage, they those stats are now obtainable with the crafting options so you can get those cards that those options somewhere else which is the crafting options other than getting the getting those stats on the normal cards so basically if you do that if you plan that out if you plan your whole card set or which card you want to work on it is in the long term gonna uh, gonna really save you a lot of crystals and as well as money because every single time you craft a card the 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 amount of crystal that you need to unequip it goes on. So basically this video is about showing out these best stats that you can use for the optimal cards starting off with the PvE set that we will be talking about. So if we talk about the PvE set, a few cards come to my mind and the Luna card probably will be the best card that you can get for your PvE set. It can get all the three attacks uh, and it has energy attack and all attack as a base stat which gives you a really huge advantage in the attack stat because for the PvE aspect the only thing comes to your mind when we talk about PvE is actually attack, all attack. The second card we can look for is actually the all new all different Avengers number one card which is the art book card. I know a lot of people have it, I know a lot of people don't have it but it also has all the three attack stats as a base stat. So the main idea for this set is to get as much attack as possible and we need to choose those cards that will give us more attack which can actually roll three of those attack. The third card I would say will be the best will be the uh, baby spidey card because it has all attack. It can roll energy attack and physical attack on the other set. It can also go for max HP or dodge depending on what you want. So this set, this card will also be in the set. The fourth card that I would say or suggest for you guys in your PVE set would probably uh, be the uh, be the cable card actually. That 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 card is awesome. That card is really awesome with all attack and cooldown duration, which is a really premium stat and some ignore defense. You can still roll for energy attack and physical attack with the two uniform options. Then maybe you can go for the attack speed if you want it. Uh, attack speed definitely helps you out a lot so that will be the card the next one i would say would be guardians of the galaxy best story ever this is a freaking amazing card like no other card gives you max hp and all attack with the three attacks you can roll three attacks on this card as well which is pretty fantastic I, in in my in my opinion one of the best useful one of the most useful cards in the game the next one could be the Black Panther 166, which is an amazing card. Again, you can roll physical attack and uh, energy attack along with the all attack as the main stat, which is has it. So it can also have that uh, those three of those attack stat that we really want. The next one I should be looking for is going to be the White Fox one because this is one of the best cards. The only thing that I don't like because it is the physical attack proc and energy attack and physical attack are on the same slot. So it kind of just goes goes down in my value. It's still a really good card if you can roll it right. But still I would say I would prefer more of those other, other, uh, other cards. Now the eighth member could be actually the black widow card not many people actually realize but it has all attack it's not too much just five percent and also roll physical attack and critical uh and energy attack which makes it having the three of those three of those uh, attacks which is more important for the pve set so basically we have eight cards i've given you eight card to choose from you can get you can start working on any of those card luna will be my my preferably maybe black panther if you want to get it now if we talk about the players that have the uh, collection bonuses, because collection bonuses are so, so much important. So if we talk about the players who have the 14% collection bonus as attack, so the 14%, which I mean is the 5% from the monster unleashed, the 3% total, this is the 3% physical adhere, so 3% energy attack, so makes it around 3% all attack. So that makes it uh, total 
including the art book set it makes it 14 percent attack with those card set we are looking really good at 77.9 percent physical attack and 82.82 percent energy attack as a base plus the collection bonus plus the crafting bonus which is 50 percent if you can get uh, uh, at a quality six for all those cards which makes it 141.9% physical attack and 146.2% energy attack for the players who have the 14% bonus. Now, for the free to play players, if I include this one as well, if they have just the energy and physical attack one, we still should be looking at the same amount of energy, physical attack and energy attack. But because of the collection bonus, we are looking at 130.9% physical attack for the free to play players and 135.2% energy attack, considering you got all those five uh, cards crafted any of those eight cards actually crafted and you got all attack on all of those stats that is just assumption uh, considering a quality six for that card now enough about the pve cards now this would do they, these would definitely be the best pve set that i could actually uh, refer to you now looking at the hp card the hybrid cards that we talk about because there are two aspect the pvp aspect of the game especially for ac and especially for at players because they also need to compete in abx to make it to AT and they need a, a certain a good amount of attack along with the hp to compete in that and the, we, I actually have two sets for you that you can actually work on. Now, it's really important to find the right balance and the main part I think is going to be having three HP cards and two attack cards and the number one card I would say Guardians of the Galaxy amazing card like it, it has to be in every single PvP set if you are looking for just PvP. AT, AC, whatever it is, it is just a fantastic card, I should say. For the second card that you should be working on for your HP card, because yeah, we need to get three HP cards and then two attack cards. The Infinity War card with the, uh, it can has the, it can have the HP proc. So the Infinity War card with the HP proc can be a really good option for you, I think. And then the third card that we should be looking for after the Infinity and the Guardians of the Galaxy, the third card that we can actually go and we can get a really good, uh, really good return on for our set will be this Gwenpool Unbel Unbelievable Gwenpool number 17 card, which also has the HP proc. So this card, this set that I'm talking about is going to have two HP procs and I will talk about the one HP proc uh, in a bit. So after the three HP cards, now we need to look at the attack cards. So only three attack cards basically comes to my mind when I talk about the attack cards. And that would probably the, the my most favorable will be, the, will be the Luna card. Hands down, the best card, the best uh, PvE card in the game, in my opinion. If you guys have any other opinion, you can just let me know in the comment box. But Luna card, the second one I would say out of those three will be uh, the Baby Spidey card actually. The, the Baby Spidey is just amazing. Probably one of the best and you can also get physical attack, energy attack and you can roll max HP. That is one of the reasons why Baby Spidey and Luna are so good. For the third card, I would say again, the art book card would be the one of the best options because you have all the three attacks and you can also roll for attack speed here and then max HP again, which is the premium set that you really want. So these will be the three options that I would give you probably the best option that I have. I don't think there is any other option. If you know, just let me know, let me know in the comments. I don't think there is any other options. If you use those cards, if you the uh, if you make a set about uh, from those cards, we should be if, uh, if we talk uh, the exact numbers, we should be looking for the guys that have 14% attack, 58.8% physical attack and 62.8 energy with 41.7% HP. With the bonus, they will get a total of 128.8 and 126.6 energy attack with the 94.7 uh, HP with two HP procs. For the free-to-play players, it would just go down by 11% on the physical attack and energy attack with the two uh, HP procs as well. So still, even if it goes down by 11% for the free-to-play players, that's still a really good attack considering if you finish those. Now for the second set, the Guardians of the Galaxy card will be there. The Infinity War card is again gonna be there with the HP proc. The Gwenpool card will be replaced with the Black Widow card because you can still get the HP. 
you have as the ma uh, as the base stat you can still get both the attacks so three of those attacks and then after that you can also again choose between the luna card and the baby spidey card or if you have you can go for the art book card so with that said if you make a set up out of these cards we are uh, approximately or i should say the exact number we are looking at 63.3 physical attack 67 point energy at uh, 6 energy attack 41.7 exactly the same hp as before and then in total for the players that have the bonuses 127.3 physical 130.131.6 energy with 1 hp proc for the free to play players again it will go down by 11% but still even with 1 hp proc uh, you are still getting really really good amount of attack and hp on your cards considering if you get the crafting right on all the all of those cards right so Try to get those, uh, try to just plan it out, whatever you are doing, whatever cards you are going to work, because the new crafted card stats are just going to be uh, as same as the new uh, optimal card sets, because you can all get those card stats on the stats on the crafting options which is really fantastic and i see people working on some of these cards like these loki cards uh, combining crafting them please don't do this you are just wasting materials and plus after wasting materials when you try to unequip it the price will go up like i have one option and my price is 700 for my baby spidey do you really want to do you really want to craft the loki card to six star and try and unequip it for like 1200 or 1400 crystals no, nobody wants to. So please to stop that. Work on the cards that I just uh, suggested you. That would give you the most out of your card sets. Unless uh, uh, either you are a PvE player or you are a PvP player. And one more thing. For the crafting and rolling. Try to work on a uh, card. And try to get the 6th roll and then start rolling. I've seen some guys rolling just, just like 1 or 2 stats they have. And if you talk patience is hard. Like, <laughs> I got more than 11,000, almost 12,000 crafting cubes saved up in my inventory. I'm just waiting for the right card. I do have the Black Panther card now, which I can work. I was uh, gonna look, I was looking for the art book card, but I, unfortunately, I was not able to get it. But still, even if I was not able to get it, and again, do, do not try not to work on the live cards, please. Try not to work on that. Now, I can work on my Black Panther 166, which has three attacks rolled up. Or I can wait a little bit more. Maybe I can get the Luna card from the free uh, from the free premium card chest, and then work on the Luna card first, and probably try to roll it. So basically, if you have a card, get the three attacks. If you are a PvP PvE player, uh, if you are a PvP player, that would be a little bit harder to roll. If you can get some attack and then HP along with that, and then start crafting those cards, craft them up to six stars get them in in your set roll the stats after that do not try to roll that uh in between like you got two options you're trying to roll it do not do that because you might just actually end up uh, end up wasting because if you don't get the uh stats that you want on the last stat basically for the attack one you will be thinking like hey i just uh, spent a lot of uh, cards on that one i just burned three of my premium cards try to rerolling that and i still not still did not get it and i cannot use it in my set so it's better to wait, have patience, uh, plan it out because it's going to save you crystals and money in the long run. And hopefully we all will be on the same page after four months or five months. So let me know what you think about the video. If you think this video was informative, give me a thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, if you like the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all with another informative video. Bye bye.